MFA Updates. Hello, good morning. Welcome to MFA Update, a weekly program where we talk about Thailand's foreign affairs and activities. And today, you're here with me, Grace Nishakapumi. Today on the show, we are going to celebrate the 50 years of friendship between ASEAN and Japan. Kun Usana Piranon, Director General of the Department of Arts and Affairs, will talk with us about the ASEAN Japan Commemorative Summit for the 50th Year of ASEAN Japan Friendship and Cooperation. The Foreign Affairs That Matter Special Guests from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. This is the MFA Updates. Welcome, Kun Usana. So it has been 50 years of friendship and cooperation between ASEAN and Japan, and I would like you to talk about the relationship between ASEAN and Japan so far, please. Uh, thank you. Um, ASEAN and Japan relations began in 1973, so it's been 50 years already. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Japan has officially uh, became a dialogue partner of ASEAN um, four years after that. Um, the relationship uh, has progressed very well, uh, very steadily, with the establishment of the strategic partnership in 2002. Um, and this year, when we commemorate the 50th anniversary, um, ASEAN and Japan uh, agree to establish a comprehensive strategic partnership, which is the highest level so far in ASEAN relations with our partner. Um, the leaders will also um, hold a, a commemorative summit in Japan later this week uh, on the um, 16 to 18 of December. Mm-hmm. His Excellency, the Prime Minister of Thailand, will also uh, attend the commemorative summit. Uh, he will have a crucial role to play because uh, Thailand is now a country coordinator for ASEAN Japan dialogue relations. So we um, help coordinate the position between ASEAN and Japan uh, to prepare for the upcoming summit. Could you talk about the key highlights of ASEAN and Japan cooperation in terms of security, economy, society, and also the culture? Yes. Um, uh, in summary, if if you want to uh, discuss about ASEAN Japan relations, I think there would be three key words: mm-hmm. is a trusted partner. Number two is a heart to heart partnership, and number three is um, the desire of of both sides to co-create the uh, economic prosperity for the future generation. So the highlight for the upcoming summit will focus on these three key areas. Um, We will look at the overall um, ASEAN-Japan dialogue relations uh, based on uh, mutual trust, mutual respect, and mutual benefit. Uh, we will also discuss about the people-to-people uh, relations between us in Japan, which has served as a foundation for, for our relations throughout the past five decades. Uh, and we call it a heart-to-heart partnership. Mm-hmm. We also uh, look into the future, how ASEAN and Japan can work together to contribute to uh, economic prosperity, uh, sustainable growth, uh, and create opportunities for our future generations. And what issues or agendas does Thailand intend to push forward in this ASEAN and Japan summit? When His Excellency the Prime Minister attend the summit, um, he will um, focus on uh, four issues. Mm-hmm. Uh, one is seamless connectivity between ASEAN and Japan. Um, we want to um, ensure that um, ASEAN and Japan will work together to link the two oceans, the Indian Ocean and the Pacific Ocean. Um, through uh, seamless connectivity, uh, infrastructure development, um, the harmonization of rules and regulations to to uh, facilitate trade and investment. Uh, we also um, focus on cooperation under the ASEAN outlook on the Indo-Pacific. Um, for Thailand, we have um, 
special um, a new initiative uh, you may have heard of uh, the land bridge uh, maker project yeah. that will help link uh, the east and west um, the Indian Ocean and the Pacific Ocean and facilitate trade and investment in the region uh, another issue is um, the uh, sustainable growth and green growth I think the issue of climate change is uh, very crucial um, it's required collective efforts uh, from all countries. Um, so ASEAN and Japan uh, will work together to try to address the issue of climate change uh, through green growth initiatives. Uh, a few initiatives uh, will be discussed. Uh, as for Thailand, we, we are also serve as the uh, country coordinator for, for um, sustainable development cooperation within ASEAN. So, so we would like to work with Japan uh, to uh, achieve the sustainable development goals. Um, we will focus on energy transition um, to achieve the the uh, carbon neutrality as targeted. Uh, we also want to work on issues like low carbon, em um, zero carbon emission, the issue of um, EV ecosystem. We want to work with Japan to, to enhance um, EV ecosystem electric vehicle ecosystem in, in the region. Um, green energy, of course, you know, will be another key area that, that we want to, to, to work with Japan. Uh, another issue is uh, digital transformation, uh, because um, we are working towards transforming our regional economy into a digital, as, as in digital economy. Um, and Thailand is now um, chairing um, a negotiation on ASEAN uh, digital economy framework agreement. Uh, we want to work with Japan um, to share experiences and best practices on how to advance dig digital economy uh, both within ASEAN and in, in our country as well. Uh, issue of soft power uh, will also be discussed um, because Japan is well known on soft power in, in various um, aspect. For yeah. example, Japanese animation is very uh, well known in the region. We all grew up with, with all Japanese animation, Doraemon, uh, mm -hmm. the type mask, and all those issues can, can uh, be promoted to serve as the foundation for ASEAN-Japan relations in the future. Mm -hmm. It also help create um, new economic value uh, for the creative content industry as well. Um, and most of all, we want Japan to, to work with ASEAN to promote a peaceful environment uh, in the region because we cannot afford to have another conflict in the region. We want to work with Japan to, to ensure that uh, Japan will continue to play a constructive role, uh, to continue to be a trusted partner for Thailand and ASEAN and uh, work together uh, to promote mutual trust and understanding um, and you know, provide conducive env environment for our um, economic growth in the future. Mm -hmm. And um, lastly, before we end the program, I would like you to talk about the benefits that Thailand will gain from this meeting. And uh, is there anything that you would like the general public to be aware of? Yes, um, I think for, for this uh, upcoming us in Japan uh, community summit, of course, we, uh, we will use this opportunity to chart the future direction of ASEAN Japan relations. Uh, new areas of cooperation uh, will be discussed. You know, the issue that, that I mentioned digital transformation, energy transition, uh, green growth uh, will also be key. Uh, apart from that, um, ASEAN and Japan will also work on enhancing public health resilience uh, for the future. Uh, Japan will support um, the establishment of the ASEAN Center for Public Health Emergency and uh, Emerging Diseases um, to be located in Thailand. So um, this will be of benefit to 
uh, for our our people uh, because public health is very crucial. You know what we have been through during the past few years with the COVID nineteen pandemic uh, underlies the need for us to enhance our cooperation to build uh, public health resilience. So there will be a lot of projects uh, under this public health uh, emerging disease and that center in, in Thailand, um, capacity building project for our um, public health workforces uh, and uh, a lot of, of activities will help ensure that we will be better prepared for any um, emerging diseases in the future. Uh, apart from that, uh, Japan will uh, also have new initiative uh, focusing on people to people changes. Uh, this will be done through the uh, new scholarships offered for ASEAN and of course uh, Thai students will benefit from, from all these scholarships as well. Uh, other issue uh, will include uh, how you know, trade investment facilitation. Japan is now the fourth largest uh, trading partners of ASEAN and second largest uh, investor in ASEAN. So if we work together, there are immense opportunity for, for our business people as well. All right, and that was a very comprehensive outlook on the ASEAN Japan Commemorative Summit from Kun Usana Pira Non, Director General of the Department of ASEAN Affairs. Thank you so much, Kun Usana, for sharing a lot of information with us today. Yes, thank you very much. was a conversation with Kun Usana Piranon, Director General of the Department of Arts and Affairs, talking about the Arts in Japan Commemorative Summit for the 50th year of Arts in Japan Friendship and Cooperation. And that's it for our program MFA Update for this week. If you want to listen to more episodes, please visit the YouTube channel MFA Thailand. And also don't forget to check out our Facebook page FM88 Radio Thailand English. All right, so I have to say goodbye now. Thank you so much, everyone, for listening, and I will see you next time. I'm Grace Nishika Pumi. Have a good day. สวัสดีค่ะ MFA updates.